All right, guys, so you don't need the OVD. So see that? Hopefully I can focus, yeah. Press the brake pedal and, acti and activate the brake pedal switch to exit. Okay. Press and switch this. See that? So the brake, the brake reset uh, service exit complete. Okay. So now we're going to do it again. So we're going to go to, where is that? I know it's settings. Or sometimes show you here brakes. Okay. Let's go back. Go to settings. System, where is that? Show you that earlier. Where is that? Okay, my profile. No, not this one. I know not this one. You have been safety. Okay, here. So you, when you go to the settings, it show you brakes brakes see that brakes press that and then service so right now you have to you know turn off the uh, real uh, the, the brakes okay and then would you like to retract yes see that if you're hearing it and then press the brake pedal to activate Okay, press my brakes and then press it. And then you see that it's blinking. So now meaning you are on the brake service mode. Once you complete it, uh, you go here on the dashboard, dash, dashboard, turn on and then just press it. And then it show you brake, oh shit, brake. The brake uh, service are complete. Where is that settings? Settings. Brakes. But anyways, it's it, it's working fine. It's everything's complete. Okay, see that? Turn off. Okay, so that's it, guys. So thank you for watching. I hope my video. Uh, will help you out there so i think this one will work with 2020 and up so this is 2023 you don't need a obd to put in the brake service mode but if you have you can but you don't have to because everything is built into the uh, dashboard right here okay thank you guys yo what up guys i'm doing a uh 2023 uh ram pro master um so this one are doing the uh rear brakes and rotor so this one is electronic parking brake so uh, i already put in the service mode you don't need computer to put in the service modes for this one so everything is built into the dashboard on the middle one so on the settings uh once i'm done with this one i'm going to show it to you how to put in the service mode and how to put in the normal mode so first the two bolt here are uh, 14 mil and then the caliper bracket bolt is a uh, torque head so we need a torque socket and then the size of that is right here it's a let's see what size is this so e e16 right here that's the size e16 on the torques okay so first let me see how can i mount this one let me see i'm trying to see if i can mount from here so you guys can see it So this is 14, 
and you have to counter the bolts. Okay, so 14. Okay. And then counter from here. Okay, I got that. On the bottom, you have an, you have a plate over here, so I don't know why they put the plate over here. Get that first. Okay. Okay. So once I get that, my ratchet. Just be careful with the brake dust, guys. There's a lot of brake dust on this one. Push it, leave it, so you can retract already and then release. And then you have the sensor here. Okay. Got this. I got the sensor here. Get that. This one is just a slide, okay? So each brake pads has a sensor on it. Okay, this one. Hopefully you guys can see it. And then, next is taking off the caliper bracket. Because there is um, Loctite on it, color pink, so the red Loctite. <laughs> and then for here, uh, after I do it, I'm gonna torque it to um, 65 pounds, and then put blue Loctite. careful with that. There's like two nipple over here that hold the the wheels. Uh, I don't know why Dutch uh, the Ram do that or the Dutch do that. It's kind of stupid because these wheels are too heavy. 
without the without the studs. It's kind of stupid when they do that. But they give you the small one like a Fiat. It's kind of stupid. These are the part number for the Mopar or right here. That's the part number. And all, that's for the rotors and also for the brake pads. Here's our part number. So I'm gonna try to uh, look this. Or you can use the AutoZone, they're all the same. And the want the actual like dealer, they call it stealership, because they charge so much. So now I'm gonna put this one, put that, prep my caliper, put some grease on it, and then torque it. So if you get the genuine brake pads, it comes with a hardware kit and also extra bolts with a uh, Loctite already. So, all right, let me prep everything and then we'll set up with the camera again. All right, so I'm gonna get everything here and let me set it up again. I hope you guys can see it. Put some grease. Alright. Okay. So, so this is a heavy truck and often this is get dried, so you have to put the grease on, you know. Okay. Now, you have to change this one too because it came with the shims and the hardware. Okay. You don't have to put a lot of Loctite, just a little bit, okay? So I don't want any scum back. Scamming people, you know, that's why, you know, this industry is kind of stressing out. Because customer doesn't trust us, because people who do some dirty, dirty stuff. So you can't do that. And 
the bed too. Okay, so now I'm ready to torque. Ready to torque it. to uh, 65 foot pounds. Okay, okay that's good. Uh, loop up with the new brick pads. All right, here. Okay. Move them up here, there, and then there's a little bit divot from here that keep them like move apart. See that from the hardware kit, and then compress my bricks. Here. Uh, comment below about the, the part or something or what you guys think. Okay. Everything good. Last part is this one, the one with the sensor on it. Stuff like that, this. Okay. Move up from here. There. I don't I don't get shy putting a lot of brake loop here because this is a heavy truck. That you know I don't wanna I don't want any comebacks. I call them scumbag. No, no one does. Okay, see that? You have to put that in the in the slot. There's a slot down there. Okay, I'm ready to put my caliper. First, do the wire, the sensor. Okay. That. Press everything, put it here, underneath, and then slide, slide this one, come on, okay, and then here, slide it. Okay, here you go. Then put the new bolts. Okay, for bite on it. Okay, and also there's a plate down here. See that is a plate. So let's see. Uh, this one goes again. Here. Oh yeah. yeah. Like that, and then fourteen mil. I'll get the fourteen mil. No, not fourteen. Thirteen. Sorry, thirteen mil. And then the counter is seventeen mil. So this way you don't have to torque it. Okay. 
and it's tight with your hand because it's already had uh, the lock tight just like that okay once I'm done with here I'm gonna put all my I'm gonna put all my wheels test drive just to make sure everything's fine and I'm done and I'm gonna show you how uh, to put in the uh, normal mode and service mode on the dashboard you don't you don't need a uh, you don't need a computer for this this is 2023 but it built in even though i think the the older one 2021 and 2020 they're all the same built in in the system on their dashboard so i'll give that to the dash or ram but hopefully the dash ram or the chrysler they put a uh, stud here because this one is freaking heavy shit all right so let me just put everything back i'll show you how to do that also uh one more thing uh if you haven't subscribed to my channel so please subscribe to help the channel guys i really appreciate it that uh let's grow the channel uh thank you i'll see you guys again for the next video thank you thank you thank you